Sir Isaac Newton. He was one of the greatest minds ever. There's an entire branch of physics, the Newtonian branch of physics, that governs basically the laws of what we can see in physics. Granted, there's Einsteinian physics, which deal with closer to light speed travel, and then there's quantum physics, which deal with really tiny objects, which, oddly enough, disproves most of Newtonian physics, but hey, Newtonian physics are the bomb, and they work really well for the stuff that you can measure. It's all the other stuff that you just, or that you can't measure. Yeah, it's all the really small or really big stuff that you just can't measure that it doesn't work for. And, yeah, I was thinking the other day, I was actually watching the TV show Cosmos, and Newton, there might have been a secret to Newton's brilliance. Newton was, had symptoms of mercury poisoning. They had trouble sleeping, deliria, tremors. Those are all symptoms of mercury poisoning. They tested some of his, I think it was hair, after he died. And they found mercury from his experiments in alchemy and stuff like that. And I think that was the secret to his brilliance. He was mad as a hatter, literally mad as a hatter, because hatters, they were known to use mercury to help cure the felt when they were making their hats. So, when Newton was fiddling around with mercury, some of it got into his veins, and all of a sudden he goes crazy. And the insanity helped lead him to become one of the greatest minds in all of time. I mean, that's just my personal theory. I can't go back and meet him. Maybe I could, but uh, not yet. There isn't that branch of physics yet. Need someone to do with mercury poisoning. But think about it. Mercury poisoning. Look it up. 